Hi there, welcome to Liverpool, welcome to the fourth Global Greens Congress and the first ever in the Northern Hemisphere. We hope you have a fantastic weekend and we're looking forward to a great Congress. We're very proud that we also uh, have uh, formally a feminist government. People are longing for visions, longing for leadership, longing for a better planet. Never forget that we are many and that together we are strong. with big ideas. And in Austria too, people chose hope over fear when they rejected the far-right presidential candidate and backed Alexander van der Bellen. Truly. Theresa May started the Brexit process, 2,000 global Greens coming from over 90 countries show that Greens are a force to count on to fight exclusion, extremism, climate change and economic crisis and unemployment. We've had many interesting discussions, many important discussions, many discussions that showed us how to move forward on fighting the authoritarian movement on developing new strategies for trade. Only two days before we started this Congress, President Trump signed an executive order that nullified Obama climate commitments. We Greens are here together in Liverpool, determined to keep our fight for climate change because it's the biggest threat humanity is facing. But one thing that has always stood in the center and will stand in the center of green activity globally will be fighting against climate change. This is not just about nature. This is about human beings. This is about offering alternatives to people 
to create livelihoods, to create stability, to create social justice and economic progress. And this is what is at the center of green identity and this is what we all will unite to fight for. This is what we came to say here and this is what we will do coming back home. Ciao!